What's happening, Rangers? Welcome back to Power Rangers Legacy Wars! Yeah! On K Wings Let's Plays. Today, we're looking at a brand new Ranger brought to you by our friends over at Enway, Lionsgate Games, and Hasbro. So, today's Ranger uh, continues the Dino Charge or Super Dino Charge family goodness of Rangers. Although, this character actually wasn't a Ranger in his TV show. Minus the Super Sentai counterpart. So this, of course, is Heckle, a.k.a. the Dark Ranger, originally known as the Talon Ranger. So this is the first time he's ever appeared in a game, as far as I know, outside of Super Sentai. So let's check out his taunt. He is a flute player like Tommy. So that's kind of cool. So uh, we're just going to go into a little details about our friend here. So Heckle, hailing from the alternate future timeline in the future, Heckle, once the alter ego of the bounty hunter Snide, has turned to the side of good. Answering Zordon's call from beyond a shattered morphing grid, Heckle is now the Dark Ranger and ready to unleash the power. Because that's their morphing call from Dino Charge. Keep wanting to say Dino Thunder, but I know that's the dyslexic in me, but whatever. So his cool moves are Dark Orbit, Energem Slash and Rewind. Now, I don't know an awful lot about uh, the Dark Ranger. I know a little bit about the uh, Sentai series that he came from, although I always have difficulty with the name. I think it's Q Ranger or whatever, but the character was from a Super Sentai movie uh, where he was called Death Ranger or Death Angel or whatever. And the reason why the character couldn't appear in America for Power Rangers uh, Dino Charge had to do with a licensing issue. And while it's easier to get the suits from the actual show, it's very difficult for Saban or now Hasbro to get the rights to the suits that have appeared in Super Sentai movies, which is kind of the reason why we didn't get the green uh, Power Ranger Ninja Steel Ranger or the gold, uh, I believe it's SPD Ranger because they were Sentai film exclusives, so they didn't translate over. So Heko has an interesting story, if you didn't know this. So he originally was the, I guess, human persona of the bad guy called Snide, which is in this game. So you guys remember what Snide played like, cool character. And eventually he ended up splitting from that uh, evil version of himself. And he actually helped the Rangers at the very end of their show defeat Snide and uh, do all this other stuff. But he never ended up becoming a Ranger in the show. He did end up becoming a Keeper, which is basically like a protector of planets and other things. And he was given uh, Energem, which I don't believe had the power to morph. It wasn't until the whole... Uh, battle for the grid or where Lord Draken was doing some crazy stuff and destroying the Morphin grid so he could become like this all-powerful ranger god that uh, Zordon reached out from like I guess several dimensions or whatever to contact Heckle and give him the power to become the Dark Ranger. But the other cool stuff about the Dark Ranger before we uh, break down the uh, moveset of this character because I do like uh, the cool abilities that Dark Ranger Heckle has. Originally, the character was supposed to be called the Talon Ranger, and it was going to be the bird mentor figure of, of course, the Rangers, but he ended up becoming another Ranger character, a type of Silver Ranger, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see that the color scheme for this Ranger uh, that the U.S. wanted to do is very similar to the mentor figure for the Rangers since, you know, it's also very bird-like. And this is a very powerful ranger. If you've seen the uh, Super Sentai movie that uh, Death Ranger is in using this guise, uh, he's able to take on all the Q Rangers without any problems. And his boomerang makes short work of everybody. He also has his own Zord, so he's pretty cool. So, if you didn't know, at the end of the uh, Lord Draken War, or whatever you want to call that, uh, Dark Ranger and a group of uh, five other Rangers, six in total, uh, end up traveling time and space to try and fix what happened. And I really want to explain it more than that, but I know it's kind of a spoiler and I don't know if Boom wants me to uh, end up messing with that. But something happens to the Rangers and these six have to go through 
time and space doing stuff. And Heckle is one of those rangers because technically he doesn't belong in any time period. He's a ranger outside of time and space. So that's why he joins Kimberly's team, the Ranger Slayer. And I really challenge you guys to read it because it's a great book. And uh, it's a lot of fun, like comic book wise. But a lot of people would have loved to see Dark Ranger appear in the show. But I'm just gonna, like, kind of uh, go out on a limb here. The upcoming Power Rangers Battle for the Grid game, I think Dark Ranger would be a great addition because his moveset here is very interesting. We got the Energon Slash here, which is kind of like a, a strike kick. Does decent amount of damage. Rewind is a counter ability. So if I got punched while I was throwing my uh, boomerang at people, be interesting to see what that was, but I don't think the NPC character is going to really uh, dish out that much damage. Dark Orbit, throwing the boomerang again. I love the confident walk. Right in the backtrack. Okay, or not. And of course, we'll look at his assist as well. But based on the limited rangers that are going to appear in battle for the grid, and I have a follow-up interview with uh, Enway, I'm in about a week or so, like right before February is when we're going to reconvene and uh, answer your guys' questions that you left on my last news video. But um, Dark Ranger would be fantastic addition to that game because his moveset is completely different. He is a new, upcoming, very popular character from Boom Comics. And a lot of people wanted this Ranger to appear, even though briefly in Super Sentai, they wanted him to have a bigger role in the American show, but of course that never happened. Even though they did bring in a lot of uh, different colored Rangers for Dino Charge and Super Dino Charge, Dark Ranger never got uh, his chance to shine until Boom decided to use him, and I'm glad they did. But uh, this character's a lot of fun to play so far, and the fact that Heckle has kind of grown on me over the years, you know, it, it's pretty interesting. But um, a big reason, too, that's come out of the woodwork as to why Heckle did not become a Power Ranger in the Dino Charge finale has to do with, well, that arc already kind of happened in Power Rangers, if you're unfamiliar with that. Do my little taunt. Sweet. Energon! And... So yeah, Kendrix, as you guys know, she died in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And they ended up bringing in former bad guy, Astromina, to become the Pink Ranger, uh, who's Andros' sister. And she ended up taking on the Pink Ranger powers. So for Heckle to do the same thing, that's kind of repeating the same arc because it was a way for that bad guy or bad girl to kind of get like closure into her bad girl years, you know, the stuff that she did. There we see the strike out and work. Boom, boomerang is fun. And I love the taunt. And this is my first time playing as the character, so I'm, I'm a little uh, excited by his inclusion. Although I'm still pestering anyway for certain characters. But yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that I found out about the Dark Ranger and stuff like that. About why he wasn't used and, you know, the film and rights compared to television rights. But based on his appearance in the comic books, maybe for like future team up episodes or celebrations, you'll see Dark Ranger just randomly appear. I, I don't think that's... Uh, beyond a possibility since he does exist in ranger lore so to speak boomerang always comes back buddy you gotta watch the boomerang ow I'm trying to think about uh, some other cool stuff about this guy but I don't really think there is feel free to correct me in the comment section below because I know a lot of you guys do that but uh, Heckle is pretty awesome, so I'm, I'm glad that he's made his way into Legacy Wars. And if you're wondering about the team-up that I chose, I know it was kind of a spoiler, but I do have uh, some of the Beyond the Grid characters hanging out with Heckle since they are teammates. So we got Ranger Slayer and the Red Space Ranger all working together, because that's the team. And also Ranger Slayer is an amazing assist. But you guys have pretty much seen this character in action, to the uh, best of my abilities. 
I'm not really able to chain a lot of stuff together, but the character will be coming out tomorrow. And I will do my best to unlock him and try to get a stream up on the weekend, but I haven't had much luck unlocking Rangers. And it doesn't seem like, uh, the developers are really, uh, helping me out there. Which, they don't really do that for Ranger creators anyway. But, um, let's add the assist and see what Dark Ranger brings to the table as an assist. And I want to keep Kimberly in, so we're going to get rid of the Space Ranger. Oh, there he is. Way down there. Probably going to do something with his boomerang, if I'm really thinking about this pretty clearly. But I tell you, it probably would have been really difficult for them to use uh, Heckle's ranger suit in the show, because if you've seen the Sentai movie, I mean, he is beating up the rangers, like, big time. All right, bringing in the assist. Okay, it was... It's pretty much the same as Backtrack, but it stuns the enemy, so it has, like, a... You know, it's supposed to be like, okay, we're going to do this, and then you follow up with an attack. The boomerang comes back, and then you could do rewind and do it again, but it's not going to cause a stun, just like a pop-up. Return trip. We're going to follow up with Kim. Except that didn't do all that much. Oh, Koda, why are you beating up on what could be a teammate? But yeah, it would have been really difficult to have uh, the Dark Ranger appear in that show because, like I said, in the Sentai movie that he appears in, he's like beating the tar out of the Sentai Rangers. So they would have to shoot all new footage with the guy hanging out with the Rangers and being a part of the team. And I think that all comes down to cost as well. So with the realm of comic books, there's a lot more you can work with compared to, you know, what you can in live action. But, that doesn't mean that video games are in that same category. So, if you want to have Dark Ranger, say, in Legacy Wars or Battle for the Grid, and, you know, put them in that way, very easily. But what I'm still surprised about Hasbro and uh, Saban and Lionsgate is they have a surefire hit if they would actually make a Dynasty Warriors Power Ranger game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love fighting games. I've been uh, looking at Legacy Wars now for close to two years this March. And uh, I'm going to fully support uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, the not port fighting game based on the Dragon Ball fighter mechanics. And I'm super excited about that, though I'm a little concerned about the 15 characters, but I was told by Enway that they are going to do their best to continue supporting the game, kind of the way that... You know, Dragon Ball has uh, additional season characters that come out after their regular release. Example, uh, Dragon Ball has, like, Jiren coming and Broly, apparently. So, like, movie Broly. So I can see, like, Saban, excuse me, Hasbro and Enway supporting the next Power Ranger fighting game. And those of you that play Legacy Wars, you shouldn't have any problems with uh, Enway not supporting this anymore because they're going to continue to release Relaint because they're going to continue to release Rangers and other things uh, for a while yet because there's still a lot they can work with. This game currently has over 60 fighters and growing and it is the biggest roster for any Power Rangers fighting game or Power Rangers video game to date that I know of. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is Heckle the Dark Ranger. In the comment section below, tell me what you think about this character. Are you going to try and get this epic? I think it'll probably cost you about 20 bucks to unlock him, because Enway's pretty good at their little drop boxes, like the first three days. I'm hoping I'll unlock this character, because he was a lot of fun to play as. I love his taunt. I like the look of the suit. And I like the fact that this is not an evil ranger, uh, and it's completely different than his Sentai counterpart, so... I think he'd make a great addition to the uh, Dino Charge Rangers if, you know, there was a way for them to work together. But as you know, that's not possible. But I think he does a great job of representing them. And the character is a great example of a villain that has found redemption. But anyway, till we meet again, Rangers, make sure you smash that like button. And until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. May the power protect you. See ya.